What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of this stuff that I have here. Uh, we do have coal hard cash, we have silver certificates, which I think are super cool. Let me actually start this video off by showing you this one. This looks so good. I mean, this is basically like, uh, I don't know if you'd call it mint condition or press condition. It's brand new. I don't think this was ever in circulation. I don't see a crease or a tear or anything. I've got some other ones that are pretty beat up over here. Um, but we are going to talk a little bit about uh, what you you know what you see in front of you, what I've put out in this video, um, hopefully in a, a way that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Uh, I love looking at this stuff, right? I, I watch videos, uh, silver stacking videos, cash stacking videos. I watch this stuff because uh, it's just cool to look at treasure, to look at a pile of treasure. Uh, I guess it's my, you know, inner child pirate, uh, if anybody can relate. But other than that, there is some uh, current events that I want to discuss as well because we've got a lot going on. The price of silver got jacked up today. I think we're sitting at, I think it's like $27.00. Let me just look here real quick. We were at like twenty-seven twenty-two. All right, twenty-seven dollars and twenty-two cents an ounce for silver. I am so glad I went and picked up some silver just uh, three days ago. I think it was. I think it was on Wednesday. Maybe it was yesterday or two days ago. We've got the silver eagles, the twenty twenty ones. Uh, so silver price of silver jack today. Why? Well, I think it has something to do with this Wall Street Bets group, all right? And, and I do want to, you know, talk about them and some of my theories around, you know, Wall Street Bets versus the hedge funds, right? Is this whole thing a PSYOP? Uh, Wall Street Bets is attempting to push the price of silver up because they've now, uh, you know, gotten wind of the fact that banks like JP Morgan short this stuff, right? They, they basically suppress the price of silver. They've suppressed the price of heavy metals. Um, so they probably do have short positions. They have, you know, their long puts and all that. So Wall Street Bets is attempting to basically uh, ruin the banks, ruin JP Morgan, like they did uh, with a couple of these other hedge funds that had to cover their short positions on uh, GameStop and uh, uh, AMC theaters. You guys know all the drama. I'm not going to really get into that. But it is um, pretty amazing to see the price of silver. I mean, if you saw it on a chart, it, it, it's just kind of like uh, consolidating and then boom, today it just, it, it, it's up to, it's up a couple of dollars, right? When I bought these ounces the other day, uh, you know, I think I paid about $30 for the 2021s, which is actually pretty good. They're usually like 31, 32, uh, but I got these for 30. The price of silver was only about 24, $25, I think. I think it was a little bit under 25. Uh, and now you're talking about, you know, two or three days later. Um, let me see what the percentage gain was. Yeah, like just today we're up 2.3%. So uh, this is pretty cool stuff. Now, do, do I think silver is going to hang around at this price level? I mean, <laughs> I certainly hope not because I want this stuff to be as low as possible because I'm not done stacking, right? Will I stack at $27 an ounce? Yes, of course I will, okay? Will I still buy five ounce bars at $30 an ounce? Yeah, I mean, I guess if I have to, right? I want my hands on this stuff, uh, but I would prefer to buy it at, you know, $22 an ounce, which I don't know if that could ever happen, maybe, uh, even less than that, right? If silver crashes and goes to 10, you bet I'm buying, I'm going to take all my money out of the stock market and purchase ounces of silver. So we're seeing the price, uh, you know, really fluctuating right now. It, it is volatile. Gold as well. Uh, gold is up a little bit, but, but not like silver, right? Silver is actually outperforming gold right now. If silver is up 2.8, 3%. Gold is only up about 0.4% right now. Uh, so this is unprecedented what we're seeing just, just with the, 
the Wall Street Bets Forum and, you know, the versus the hedge funds and all of these, you know, new retail traders, people getting their stimulus checks, throwing it into the Robinhood accounts. This is unprecedented. Uh, but that being said, okay, uh, I do think there's a lot of manipulation, right? Not just the price of silver, but the narratives that we are being fed. I had a little uh, thought about Wall Street bets, okay? Because I, I'm sort of, uh, I guess you could say, uh, I'm a conspiracy theorist, right? It's more of a hobby for me, uh, but I do like to uh, uh, dabble in alternative theories, alternative ideas, alternative narratives to try to find the truth. And, uh, you know, we're being told that Wall Street Bets is trying to ruin the hedge funds. And yeah, a couple hedge funds lost like altogether about $40 billion. But we're being told, uh, you know, by the media, by the, the, the forums that, you know, if we go in and buy GameStop and, and buy AMC theaters and buy SLV, that, uh, you know, the, the power of the people, we can stick it to the man. We can ruin the hedge funds, Wall Street, the bankers, right? And uh, people are really falling for this. People are actually thinking that they themselves can make a difference. Not that they can make a difference, but that they are going to let us win this battle, all right, w without, you know, intervening. And we saw the intervention, uh, blocking certain trades, blocking the, the purchase of certain equities, only letting you sell the equity. Um, I know in my TD Ameritrade account, they were restricting my options buying power. Two days in a row. I was on the phone with them for three hours yesterday and they finally restored it when I called them out on their BS. And then I woke up today, my options buying power was like $73. I have over $1,000 in my account. Uh, I'm not going to get into all my personal uh, uh, you know, drama with TD Ameritrade today, but uh, you know, if they could or if they wanted to, they could, right? If they wanted to crush this economic rebellion, uh, they definitely could. So I'm very hesitant uh, about, you know, falling for some of these narratives, right? And, and when you think about the group, right, the forum, Wall Street Bets, a lot of it's anonymous posting, right? How do we know that it's not the hedge funds themselves buying call options and, you know, leading the herd into these call options uh, so that they come out on top? I wouldn't put it past them at all to be that deceptive, right? I would not put it past them at all. And, and you know, when I see the herd going this way, uh, that's a pretty good indication for me that I need to be, I, I need to head out of here, right? I, I need to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, so I, I kind of, you know, the fact that we've got someone piling into the silver ETFs right now. Are they buying physical bullion? Who really knows? But, um, you know, the price of silver is being manipulated right now. And this is an asset that I hold. This is an asset that, that I love dearly. Uh, this is God's money, right? And it's being manipulated right now for, um, for personal gain, right? But, 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 also as a way to push a certain narrative. Um, so as far as this whole Wall Street bets thing goes, I think the whole thing is a psyop. I think, I, I really do believe that um, it, it's just as plausible that it's not just retail traders on these forms pushing millions of people to buy up all these shares. It could actually be the hedge funds themselves coordinating this effort. And the other thing I want people to consider, right? And I could be wrong about this. You know, and I'm, I'm just, this is just kind of a ranting, you know, stacker video, but uh, I, I could be wrong and share your opinions in the comment section down below. Make sure to give the video a like too. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, the truth is, is that we as retail traders, we're going to get hurt, right? I, I, I love trading. I, I discovered it really kind of late in life, right? Oh, I, I discovered it back in March. I started getting into trading. And I'm very concerned now that because of all of this, you know, this economic warfare against supposedly retail traders and hedge funds, I am very concerned about more regulations coming in. Uh, maybe we get to a point where, you know, as retail traders, we have to pay fees or get a license to trade 
certain equities or trade options, right? I'm very concerned about this because I have figured out a way to make money for myself. And, you know, it would really, really suck if that too got ruined, right? I used to make a lot of money online, making my videos, doing YouTube and, you know, big tech crushed me. They did. They crushed me. Um, and so I was sort of forced to, to try new things. So I learned a new skill, which is trading options. And uh, I am very worried about where this is all going. The other thing I want my viewers to consider is that, you know, they're calling this economic warfare, right? A war between retail and hedge funds. What happens when they start labeling retail traders like you, like I, as domestic capital T, if you catch my drift, right? Uh, what happens? I mean, we already see it with Wall Street bets. They're calling them part of the ALT uh, capital R, right? They're, they're saying that uh, the, the discourse server was, was banned for wrong think, right? Banned for hate speech. Uh, this is getting serious, guys. Uh, so, We've seen what they did to all these characters on the right, right? Anybody, you know, right of Biden has been completely taken off the internet. And this has been going on for a very long time. It wasn't just the president, the former president's um, account that has been banned. This has been going on uh, for three, four, five years at least, right? Ever since PewDiePie and the AdSense, the, the Adpocalypse thing on YouTube, um, you know, they have been censoring people. Well, what happens when they use these narratives that, oh, all these retail traders, they don't know what they're doing and they're attacking, you know, legitimate hedge funds and now they're attacking the banks, right? Trying to pump the price of silver. What happens when they start labeling retail as economic domestic capital T? Or, um, you know, they, they, they start censoring us economically right? Financially censoring us. Um, we already have seen pretty much all of our free speech just thrown out the window, right? Uh, we have rights as Americans that are being completely violated by because it's not the government that's necessarily doing the violating, but in a way it kind of is because these big tech giants, they're like quasi government agencies. I, I don't want to, you know, get too deep into this, but my main point is, is that we've seen all the censorship online. Okay. What happens when they start censoring us economically or financially? It's already happening, right? Robinhood not allowing people to buy GameStop, right? You can only sell GameStop. So they're obviously trying to help the hedge funds, uh, uh, you know, cover their short positions and, and bring the price down lower. Um, you know, these are criminal cartels we're talking about and, and, you know, what they're doing to our money, what they're doing to the almighty dollar, right? Let's talk a little bit about this. So the dollar has shown some strength recently. I can actually look it up real quick. Um, I like to look up the DXY. Let me just look it up real quick here. So the DXY is hovering around at about 90.54. So, so it is still showing a little bit of strength. Uh, we got a long ways to go though, to really break out of this bear market. Um, but the dollar has been showing signs of a recovery. And I do think it's possible that the dollar recovers, um, quite well, actually, right. Everybody wants to talk about the supply and talk about the stimulus and the devaluing, which I, I agree with, right. This dollar, uh, it's going to buy less next year than it does right now. But that being said, uh, a lot of people, all these dollar bears, right? Peter Schiff, all the crypto dollar bears, uh, they don't want to talk about the demand, right? The demand for dollars in other countries, the demand for dollars in the way of dollar denominated debt. And, uh, you know, even though this is just backed by nothing, right? It's backed by IOUs, empty promises, promises from the Fed. It's backed by debt. Um, it's not like back in the day where you used to be able to take a dollar. This is a silver certificate, right? You, this Back in the 50s, the 40s, 30s, you used to be able to take this in and to any bank and get silver, right? You could get silver bullion. This is one ounce 
right? One dollar. It's this is legal tender. See that? One dollar. Can you guys see that? You used to be able to take these in and say, hey, I want my silver bullion, right? In silver payable to the bearer on demand. The version of this dollar now, we're, we're a long ways away from that. But even still, this cash is precious. Not only are they trying to devalue it, but they're also trying to take it away, right? They, they have full intentions to move us to some sort of digital dollar. And a reason I'm stacking cash, right? Not in a bank. I keep enough in the bank to pay the cell phone bill, whatever. But the reason I'm stacking cash, the reason I'm stacking bankroll, right? The reason I'm stacking copper pennies. I also stack the zinc pennies, but we got copper pennies here today. Uh, is because when we do move to digital, this is going to become scarce, okay? Cash is going to become very scarce, and people will start hoarding it because this is the more valuable form of the dollar. The digital dollar, right, Dig digits on, on a screen, uh, well, the government can just, you know, put as many of, this, of those as they want on our debit cards, uh, you know, our, our government issued stimulus debit cards. I know some people got uh, stimulus checks in the form of, uh, of debit cards. So they're trying this thing out. We know China has a central bank digital coin. Um, when that happens, when they move us over to that, this is going to get scarce. People are going to hoard this. We already had a coin shortage last summer during the height of this, you know, or I should say the beginning of the CV, uh, you know, scamdemic thing. Uh, there was a coin shortage, so so, so people are, will hoard this, and I'm I'm hoarding it now because I see the writing on the wall. The digital dollars won't buy as much. All right, this is going to be very valuable, um, and, and you also have to consider that, you know, despite the supply, despite the, uh, uh, you know, the deliberate devaluing of the currency. All of the dollar denominated debt still has to be paid in dollars. Other countries need dollars to, to trade and barter between themselves, right? Like who wants Russian rubles outside of Russia? Absolutely no one. Who wants dollars? Russia and China and India and, and lots of countries, right? And there's this whole narrative that, oh, they're, they're leaving dollars, right? Well, they're not really leaving dollars. They're low on supply right there the the demand of dollars is so big that they don't have enough right they they can't get their hands on enough dollars uh so that's why i'm stacking cash right uh, i cash it's it's currency right yes you got to have real money like silver and and gold as well i want to start making more gold purchases you got to have that real precious metal real money hard money uh but stack the currency too, right? Because we know this is going away. We know this is going away. These silver certificates, depending on how many you buy, right? They could be at your local coin shop. They could be anywhere from about a buck 50 to $2 that you would pay for this. All right. I got this one probably for about a buck 50, I think. All right. Cause I, I, I bought it with a bunch of other ones. Uh, and you know, but 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 they do sell them for two dollars. So that's a hundred percent more, okay, than than its face value, right? Because these are still in circulation. You will see them, uh, but that is double what the face value actually is. So it, it just goes to show you that these silver certificates and cash, all right, this is going to become valuable, more valuable than the digital dollars. Will the purchasing power still be going down? Yes, obviously. Are they are they deliberately trying to, you know, destroy us through the purchasing power? Yeah, without a doubt. Okay, but if there's a lesson in this, these silver certificates, they're still $1, right? You could still, t technically you could go spend this. I could go, you know, buy a candy bar right here with two bucks. I wouldn't do it, uh, but you know, if they're worth a buck fifty to two dollars now, what are they going to be worth ten years from now? Fifty years from now, these things are going to be like ten dollars a piece, and they're getting more and more rare. And that's the other thing I want to mention here. 
Uh, we've also got some star notes. I'll show you. I got some other cool things here. I collect star notes. I really love these things. Um, and they're quite rare. I mean, it's unless you have your hands on a lot of cash, it's hard to find them. Um, I found these when I was working a job for a few months. But yeah, I got, I got a few star notes. I think that's the first one I ever found. Terrible condition. Really excited about that $5 star note I found. Um, and then I just got like a dollar from 1988. This is actually the oldest dollar I've seen in, I don't know, probably since I've been in Virginia. Um, but, you know, if there's a lesson about the silver certificates, it's that, you know, this cash, when it goes away, I believe the value could potentially increase. And the other thing to consider, right, the last thing I'll say is that, you know, all of this stuff, there's only a certain amount made. There's a finite quantity of, of coins, right? Uh, even like quarters, right? Collect West Point quarters. I've only ever found two, which I'll show you right here. These are minted, uh, West Point minted quarters. You can see the W, right? And they're, I believe, yeah, they're 2020s. I have two different ones. Um, these are pretty rare. They only made, I think, like 5 million, you know, as opposed to like, 60 million uh, minted quarters. They only made about 5 million of these. And I've only found two. I haven't found any others. I get rolls of quarters all the time for laundry. And these are the only two that I have found in the past you know, couple of months since I started looking for them. So scarcity is a real thing. We could get to a point where this cash, and right? I know it's not exciting. I know people you know, like to hate on it, but there's only a certain amount of this stuff that will ever be printed in a year. Like like Silver Eagles, for instance. For instance, there, There's only, I think, like maybe 2 million or 3 million of these minted every year, right? So the value increases, you know, they get melted down, they get destroyed, they get lost, they get locked up in a safe somewhere, right? People, um, as they become more scarce, they become more valuable, right? It's the same thing, oh, the market's just closed. It's the same thing with copper, right? Same thing with all of it. So just consider that, right? Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm dead wrong on all this, you know, <laughs> dollar bull uh, stuff here. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, keep stacking. Keep trading. I hope this is motivating for, for, for somebody out here. Uh, I never thought in a million years, you know, this time last year, I never thought I'd be into stacking, trading, wearing silver jewelry. Uh, I never thought I'd be into this stuff. And... You know, I got the bug, right? If there's one thing that happened from CV19 scamdemic, it's that I became more financially literate. I became more financially aware. I really do think, you know, when, when we talk about awakening and, you know, a lot of people talk about politically awakening, um, spiritually awakening, but financially awakening and seeing the beauty, uh, you know, of financial freedom and, and being financially, um, you know, ad adequate. Uh, I, I can only hope to inspire more people to do that. I never thought in a million years that I would be stacking silver, much less saving money, right? Um, or trading stock options, day trading stock options. So hopefully that offers some inspiration for you guys. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up. Follow me on social media. I'm pretty much everywhere. I'm going to try to start doing podcasts again. Uh, but, it, you know, it's just hard with trading and doing everything else I'm trying to do. Uh, and, uh, you know, thank you to everybody supporting the channel by liking, commenting. Uh, to all of my patrons out there, big thumbs up. Big thank you for supporting my content. Thank you to everybody that's uh, ever donated on PayPal. I really do appreciate the support you guys have shown me over the years. And with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. As always, until next time, God bless.